Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, this is still Tuesday. <laughs> Funny, it feels like Sunday, but it's not. I don't know why. Anyway, Tuesday, January 7th. It's 9.15 p.m. And I was about to shut down and start praying. And I, did. I got on my email. Well, I didn't really get on it. It When I'm shutting down... For some reason, my email is there. It pops up first, and unless I click on the red, it stays there. And a lot of times, I don't click it off. Anyway, long story short, someone shared a video. Um, she says, well, it's Marilla, um, which, by the way, I made a video a couple videos ago. And at the very end, I tagged um, if... Y'all could pray about helping the person we've been collecting for. I was talking about Morella, in case you didn't know. She's a single mom in Ecuador with four children. And she needs rent and groceries. She's been putting in uh, job applications. Well, trying to find a job without a work card. And that's hard. Um... But so far, she said that the places tell her we have more employees than we have guests already. So they don't need anybody right now. I don't know if this is a bad time of the year um, for tourists down there. But anyway, so she hadn't been able to find work. And she's trying that now. And, but she's had the flu lately, although she said it's getting better. So if anybody could help her, please, please, please pray about it and see if you, the Lord doesn't direct you. I have a playlist, a few videos about Morella for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know about her. All right. Uh, anyway, she sent me this video and it's called Just Now There Was What She Put. Just now, there was a 4.9 earthquake in Iran. Iran now. Plus, attacks continuing. She says, will we be home tonight? Oh, honey, I wish we would be. <laughs> she's so hopeful. Every night, she says, will we be home tonight? And I sure wish we would be. Uh, this looks like... Um, it's a foreign language. Uh, Urgente Iran Attacka. Two bases. S10. Anyway, let me. If I click on it, it's probably. Is that Spanish? Is that what they speak down there? Is this from there? Urgente. Urgente. It looks like Spanish. Granada Channel. It's the Granada Channel. Yeah, it's a foreign language, but they're just showing uh, it's live. Okay, it's live. It's live footage of and, and whatever's going on over in Iraq. Okay, and it's saying urgente, urgente. That's urgent. Oh, here comes some more. Let me blow this up. Oh, those might be planes. Nope. Those were explosions, but they went off in the air. I just have... And pardon me if I'm wrong, because it's just my opinion, but... uh. I know, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this says USA TVN at the bottom, but then it's Granada Channel, okay, I, I, I haven't, seen this on any other video but then I'm not looking for it I just got a this and I had just now clicked on it while I was with you and then there's a news 
FoxNews.com says Iran fired more than a dozen ballistic missiles in attacks on U.S. military coalition forces in Iraq, Pentagon says. And then it says Iran fired more than a dozen ballistic missiles into Iraq targeting U.S. military and coalition forces early Wednesday. Okay, so see, it's Wednesday there already, so that's not been that long ago. This came into my email at 6.38 p.m., so almost three hours ago. It says, click here for more. All right. What I saw earlier... Um, it had talked about hitting even the um, housing area, but it didn't say anybody was killed. So, 10 missiles hit Al-Assad Air Base. One missile hit a military base. Let me get rid of this ad. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Four minutes, let's see, hit a military base in Herbal. Four missiles failed to hit their targets. I'm just thinking, <coughs> I'm just going to run this by you. You know how Psalm 2 talks about the kings and the rulers take counsel against him? <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, we know the elite. I'm going to pull it up. The elite, they're all they're all friends behind closed doors. We know the Illuminati is running the show. The new world order is basically in play. I just feel like this is a this is like a show they're putting on. Like and, you know, I can't help but feel that. It says, Psalm 2, verse 2, The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> then it goes on to say in verse 4, He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto... I'm sorry, I'm getting choked. <coughs> My goodness. I'm sorry about that. Really have been doing better. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in some sore displeasure I rebuke you Satan in the name of Jesus you shall not take my voice <coughs> it's just started I have, my cough has been so much better and this just started my friend was here a little bit ago and I was we were talking I was fine so anyway I hope I made my point. I was just trying to, what I already said. I just think they're all, at least the leaders, like like Trump. The kings, the presidents, the rulers take counsel together. They, they, I feel like this is just, 
I told my neighbor, the world's a stage. Don't let this get you upset. Of course, those who are left behind, they'll see the World War III, I reckon. There's going to be war, a war. The Bible says war, the black horse. Let's pull up. What is that? Revelation the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It's got to be four, or is it five? Let me Google it. it might be later. There we go. All right, where were the names of the four horsemen? In the last book of the New Testament, six, one through eight. Okay. <clears throat> Six one, and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, "Come and see." And I saw and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow. And a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Now, pr pretty much everybody agrees that's the Antichrist coming onto the world stage. <clears throat> Verse 3, And when he'd opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Okay, so that's, that's got to be war. That's the red horse. I kept thinking black. Verse 5. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard a third be say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil, and the wine. <clears throat> now, I often wondered if that meant the oil, as in petroleum, or olive oil. The olive groves that make olive oil, and the wine. Anyway, I didn't really mean to get into the book of Revelation, but about the part about war. We know this comes after the first, the first rapture. Because I know the book of Revelation is not written in chronological order, but I believe just the chapters are not in order. Down at verse 17, it says, For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? So right after this is the second rapture. The multitude too large to number in verse chapter 7, verse 9. 
So before all of this is the first rapture because the bride is spared. I firmly believe that. And maybe we'll see. We're seeing some things going on right now. This here. I mean, is it going to make people repent? Oh, looky here. This was three hours ago now. Donald J. Trump at real Donald J. That real Donald Trump. Here's a tweet. All is well. Missiles launched from Iran at two military bases located in Iraq. Assessment of casualties and damages taking place now. So far, so good. We have the most powerful and well-equipped military anywhere in the world by far. I will be making a statement tomorrow morning. And this was at 8.45 p.m. January 7th. Okay, that's strange. The article didn't come up until... Let me see, three hours ago. And yet, this was 8.45 p.m. That can't be American time. I don't know. That part I can't talk about. I mean, I, I don't know how to explain that. He might be talking about Iraq time. I don't know why he would be. Perhaps he's over there. Does anybody know? Anyway, I'm going to end this here. That's all I know about that. I just wanted to bring that up to assure you. As I've said before, pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. This is a skirmish going on. And it looks like it's ramping up. And Iran is blowing off some steam. And whether we killed that general or not, I don't know. Remember when we supposedly killed uh, Saddam Hussein? And who was the other guy? Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, you know, they dumped his body in the ocean they dumped his body in the ocean and nobody ever saw him i said they didn't kill that guy i don't know what they dumped in the ocean but it wasn't his body i, I mean i just knew it and so many people didn't believe it who, who was he the guy that supposedly planned the attack on the twin towers <laughs> i know y'all are knowing it i just can't recall it anyway so you see Take everything with a grain of salt <laughs> and just stay in peace, okay? That's all. Just remember who's in charge and who. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I just turned the light on and I raised my arm. Okay, well, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and our internet connections my computer and that's so we can stay connected until we're out of here whenever it is i look forward to meeting each and every one of you i know we all have so much to learn don't we we you know i can't wait to sit in front of our teacher and hear all about the things they couldn't put in the Bible, the things removed from the Bible, the things never were written down. You know what I mean? What was his childhood like? And hear from Moses and um, Israel or Jacob and Joseph. Can you imagine? sitting in front of them and hearing 
a lecture, a sermon, whatever you want to call it, like in a big lecture hall or out on a grassy knoll, I can just, you know, if you can think back, how many of you could not wait to get out of school because you knew you had to learn what they were teaching. But this is different. It's going to be so much different. I enjoyed school, really. I did, and I enjoyed it learning. But this is going to be a whole nother level of learning. And we're all going to find out how very little we really do know. And it's just going to be wonderful. So I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. And I hope... I hope it's this month. <laughs> I hope it's this week. You know, I'm kind of like Morella. I want, uh, let's go tonight. Are we going tonight? <laughs> That'd be great with me. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Oops, my butt.